It's August, and the BC Coastal Bargaining Committee has reached a tentative agreement with Western Forest Products. About 2,400 of our sawmilling and woodlands members from USW Locals 1937 and 85 are currently voting on the proposed four-year agreement, and we hope to have all votes counted by August 20th. Our proposed agreement with Western, which will also apply to Me Too employers on the coast of British Columbia, provides wage increases of 2% in each of the years 3 and 4. Our members will receive better severance pay, including a severance option when a defined component of an operation does not run for 24 months. All unionized company operations will remain in the USW, as will contractors. We will also have access to non-union work sites for the purposes of organizing. Certified tradespersons will receive additional pay. Graders and greater tallymen will also receive an additional premium. Shift differentials will apply to logging tradespersons. Group life insurance and AD&D will increase to $120,000 by the end of the contract. Most importantly, a long-term disability plan will be stabilized with additional contributions of $0.20 cents per hour from both the employer and employees. For the first time, service time provisions in logging are included in the agreement. More details on the tentative agreement are being provided to our members during the ratification process. The BC Coastal Bargain Committee has strongly recommended that our members vote yes for the agreement. Like our pattern agreement in the interior, the Western agreement is a good one in these tough economic times. Lumber markets saw a very short-lived and limited recovery in 2010 and have now collapsed. At Western, we have seen a marginal pickup in sales to Asian markets with some species and dimensions of lumber. Elsewhere in the northern interior of BC, your USW Bargain Committee has restarted talks with Conifer. We are optimistic that an agreement can be reached. We also have yet to resume contract talks with West Fraser, which has assured your interior bargaining committee that it can work under any pattern agreement, given that it is a major player in North America and it is acknowledged as the industry's lowest cost producer. On the coast of BC, your coast bargaining committee plans to meet with forest industrial relations in the near future. In local 2009, bargaining has begun with Interfor for a collective agreement at the Hammond Cedar and Acorn Sawmills. Overall, BC forest industry negotiations are taking longer than we thought they would. That is due in great part to the divided state of the industry and poor market recovery. Your coastal and interior bargaining committees appreciate the backing that we have received from you, our rank and file membership. We thank you for your continued solidarity and support as we continue to bargain further agreements.